Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have cut off the supplies for these furnaces in preparation for changing them over to the new design. So I've got this blueprint in my pocket at the moment and they are going to need to be here. Uh, so you can see how far they do extend south of the current setups. What I'd like to do is we are gonna, I guess we're gonna need this stone line going through because that attaches to the main bus. Um, but I think I'll put mod beacons over on this side or basically leave space for them in any case uh, and then do the other things on the other side. So I'm gonna clear three of these for now. Uh, I don't, I, yeah, I probably am gonna need more, but that's what we're gonna clear for now. And I do want to clear all of these belts as well. So come on, robots, do your thing. And I'm going to put in a, a another connection here in case it's needed. I don't know if it is or not. It might be. It might very well be. Okay, just so that we have everything connected up. And this stone thing is very curious at best. Okay. And I want to put in some beacons. I'm going to have the beacons like here. This is just going to be like a, a measurement spacing for them. Wow. All the bots working hard. Check that out. So if I have 16 of these furnaces, let me calculate 16 times, um, well, if I have 200 already made divided by 16, I can make 12 furnace columns. That's quite a few. So I could possibly even do um, copper with this, depending on how much iron I actually have. This is fascinating. I guess this isn't connected. That's very interesting indeed. I think I'm going to replace these poles here with ones that actually connect to each other. There we go. Did I... Is this too long or something? That's fascinating. Very, very interesting. I guess I screwed them up or something? Has it been that way the whole time? I must say that I am slightly confused over this. Alright, let's uh, mine some of this stuff out. Bots are taking too long. I wonder why they're taking so long. I have plenty of them for the job. They just are being a little bit silly, I think. Uh, in any case, uh, the other thing that I need to do is I need to know... Okay, we're, we need 10 undergrounds. I know that we have on us... We have... Oh, we have, we have tons of undergrounds. We have plenty of stuff. Okay, so while this is getting done... I am going to uh, call for the deconstruction of all this as well. So let's just basically tear the whole thing apart. We can leave stone on there. And I want to get something else. I need more roboports <laughs> desperately. Uh, right. So, it, oh, wow. Beautiful bot migration. Check it out. Lovely. Oh, wow. Look at all these guys charging. Um, how many could we use? One, two, three. We need a bunch. I don't know, five, something like that. Iron gear wheels and batteries. Gosh, I feel like I should just be making these things somewhere. I could make them on this end over here. I could make them in the mall. Actually, I could bank them in the mall. I normally make stuff separate. But why not? Who cares? It's all good. Upgrade the trees. And plonk down some stuff. You are going to be making personal roboports. I hope you enjoy your task. So we need blue chips, which we are not going to get here. But we get gears here. Yay. Yay.
So we'll take those gears. We need batteries. So I think we're going to have to import batteries. We can take steel from here. But batteries and blue chips we will need from the world. Okay. And it does pay to have these containers here because I may decide to, you know, if I die or if I want a second um, thing, a second suit for different purposes, I can have that then. Uh, right, so you are going to have batteries and blue chips. Batteries like 20, blue chips like 20. Sure, fine. And let's connect the steel as well. Good. These guys are being interesting. And the other thing I want to make is I do want to make shields. So what do we need for shields? We need red circuits and steel plates. Okay, so I could put the shields here. That'll be pretty darn easy. Because we have red, the, the red circuits coming in this way. And we have steel plates handily coming in this way. And then I can put regular, the level 2 shields right over here. And just do a nice little conversion like that. These are actually functioning. Excellent. Uh, even better, what I would like to do is put a requester there and have it only stack to one square. This guy, like that. Perfect. This is going to need 10 shields for one. So let me grab a requester here. There we are. Oh, this guy, hey, this, oh, well. Um, okay, I'm gonna have it request all the shields from the network, the low level ones, or 10 of them anyway. Uh, and this thing is only going to work if, if all the shields in the network are less than 10. Okay, so if the, basically that box has stuff, it's not going to work. How are you doing? You're short on steel. Oh no, we're short on steel? Oh, well, yeah, because I just stole all of it. And um, because I'm redecorating over there. Yeah. And you will also grab some blue circuits, please, from the network. Duh, 10 is enough. And I want you to output to a pretty little red chest right there. Uh, this one is good. Okay, and there we go. And I only want you to make, I don't know, I guess I could connect this to the logistics network. Let's have you make less than 10. But most important, I want RoboPorts. There are now four in here. Excellent. So I'm gonna get rid of the shields for now. I'm gonna put the RoboPorts in. I also do not need these things, I think. Better to have a RoboPort. Wait, do I have... Oh, I only have four legs on? Wow, okay. I should probably get rid of more stuff and put in another set of legs. But our bots have been very busy deconstructing this whole area. I'm quite proud of them. So one of the things is to just start this. <sighs> okay, I just want to see how I want to align this thing. So we have space. Two and three. There we go. We want to make sure that we have plenty of room to connect this up. There's no reason to be chintzy here. Everything can be moved. Now, this is the first time I've actually done the moduled setup uh, in the factory. Normally, I don't do that. Normally, I do it... Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do at all, is it? No. I wanted to do this thing. 
Aha. Okay, I see. I see what we're doing here. Boom. So this thing is too long. So we're going to put this guy there. This is going to go uh, that away. Yeah, last time I did it at an outpost, but I feel like we could have enough uh, here for this. So I'm thinking, why not? And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's okay, too. We can move it elsewhere. And I wouldn't be that bothered. Mm, okay, and now I'd like to have a second blueprint game, please. Put it down there. Uh, to put down these beacons. Really? Thing. Oh, and by the way, guys, I did get that wild uh, spot of oil. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but I, I did get it. Uh, beacon speed three. Here we go. Put that at the very outside edge. Okay, there's our alignment. Good. Now we can just simply plunk the whole thing again. Like this. And shove it right over here. Sharing the beacons very beautifully nicely. Four. Okay, great. So we might as well start hooking up the ore. There is no reason to wait. We can start getting some of the uh, belts being made again and other things that also require iron. These uh, arrays are actually quite slim. I'm, I, I thought they would take up more space, but I think once you count in all the other stuff with the other uh, setups, it is, it is looking really good. Wow, nice. And so these four are the copper. Look at this, how well it's aligning. I'm just shocked. I'm really quite surprised at this. This is great. I'm very, very pleased about this. So how is this going? Are you guys functioning well? Should be going okay. These guys had little electricity. Is that because we don't have any electricity? Probably. Wow, why are we... Oh, we must be separated from the network. Oh no. Yeah, that wouldn't work very well. We really should try to get that sorted out. Are we happy now? Are we better? Okay, these have... Okay, we did see the, uh, the um, steam engines come on. These guys should be hunky-dory, I believe. Yeah? Okay, good. And check these power poles again to see... Nope, these are not, still not connected to the power grid. This is funky. I thought I had all of this stuff interconnected. Uh, but I guess not. We still have no solar panels. What the heck? This is so weird. This is very, very, very weird. Okay, I'm going to connect these guys here. I'm going to make sure these are all connected, interconnected here. These are connected. Okay, this is the problem where we have none here that are connected. Boom. Now, world... Are you connected? You power pole, how are you doing? Aha, we now have connections. Good. So that's what we're going for. Can also, I also want to power these guys up. It's probably worth copying and pasting this array again for these guys. Well, in any case, we'll just need to uh, copy it just to have these four. Why not? Four arrays. Wow, it, I cannot believe this. 
it actually takes up less horizontal space than the regular for you know I've I obviously it's it's an obvious thing but I um I never really counted it out I have I really didn't expect this to be so tidy and night and neat looking And these guys, what are these guys producing? Oh, these were making steel. Okay, so steel is going to be a little bit of a different matter, I think. Um, but let's connect up all of the other things. So this one is going to be here. And you, my friends, shall be copper. Okay, so we are going to have to get rid of some of this stuff. Just maybe take out the top rows. And I will reconnect that in a bit. Because I obviously I do want to have as many solar panels as possible. Uh, but I do want to leave room for a couple of those iron ore uh, things as well. Whoa. Okay for the steel, to transfer those to steel. And those guys are going to be here. I have to say, I'm kind of tempted to do steel elsewhere, maybe. Okay, so this is stone, which also needs to be forwarded here. So the stone is right there. Okay, let's just delete this whole thing. One, two, three, four. No! Oh, no, 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 no. I knew that was going to happen, and I just... Yeah. I was like, no, it'll be fine. We're going to use that ore anyway. No, we're not. We're going to use stone. Goodness me. And now I've connected it too early. Which made it even worse. Okay, that's done. We are going to be needing plenty of stone bricks for the upgrade of the... Um, for the for more furnaces, basically. Okay, so I am not using anywhere near the eight belts that I have of this stuff. So, okay, I guess I should put down a stone furnace line here somewhere. Oh, 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 we need to, wow, we need, wow, we don't have electrical poles? Hmm, sounds like I need copper. Imagine that. I have a feeling that's what's holding up our electrical poles. Literally is no copper. That's so funny. Unless this is just not a construction area. Yes, it is. It is a construction area. So I think we just needed some copper to be made. Why are these going so slow? Do we have, we have plenty of electricity. This is not the issue. I guess the uh, modules are going to be helping. Oh, wow. Why are these not... Now this is interesting. Why do these not have beacons in them? Or beacon plans, at least. Does it work if I copy... Yeah, these are there. Okay. Yes. Do I need to really delete every row? I guess I do. Because... The, um, the module inserter it does not work unless you have the modules actually in your inventory. And I certainly don't have that uh, at the moment, which is unfortunate. But... Hmm. That is so weird that they didn't copy over. Do not know why. See, these are copying over. They have the blue thing. 
Something must have gone off and I'm not quite sure what it is. It's all right though, it's not that critical. We'll just copy these guys over. Have a nice time. Bit of a snack later. Invite people over for pizza, burgers, whatever. Things, stuff, nice things, nice stuff. Yeah, works. Oops. You are not permitted to be here unless you have modules incoming. Okay, there we go. So, I guess this entire thing can be deconstructed at this point. I am glad that I have these belts remaining here. It does definitely help. Wow, the hordes of bots flying through the air, collecting stuff. Mm -hmm. So why are you not happy? Oh, because you have no electrical poles. That does not sound good. <gasps> no! Oh, this is not ideal. Has this is this mistake in every single one? It is. How nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, why is this not producing as many plates as I think it should? Yeah, that would be why. Okay, I have a slight mistake. Pardon my my mistakiness. I will fix it right now. Okay, good. It is fixed. So, to that end, I am going to recopy this array, basically with beacons on both sides, and this is going to be our furnace design, okay, without mistakes, there we go, good, okay, that is looking a lot better, tons better. Though I really do feel like I should have some balancers on each of these sides here, that because it's looking very, very one-sided. I think because of our previous backlog of the stuff. But I'm hoping that some of this uh, copper is going to get sorted out too. In any case, even without modules, we do have uh, much, much more throughput than we did with the, um, the other lines, I believe. I think it we do. Maybe not. Certainly seems a lot thicker, but anyway, that could be just the backlog of, you know, stuff having built up in the machines and stuff. Do these guys have a backlog? No, they don't. Okay, so, yeah, we, we don't have that much throughput, but we will get the modules soon. Soon. TM soon. Right? Um, get that out of here. Oh, we should set up recycling. Definitely want to set up recycling four, probably like the last machine in some of these lineups. There you go. You're going to request copper ore, please. And then you are going to request iron ore, please. There you go. Wait, does this not have an output? Oh my god, how much screwing up did I do on this game? No, okay, I was just a mistake. Alright, anyway, no, I guess we don't have enough throughput because maybe we had more, uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Soon we shall have modules and things will be better. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.